All right, the next question in the chat is, my aquarium pH is too high. Should this be something I should worry about? Great question, Jason. Um, aquarium pH, uh, this is a, a huge deal in the hobby and especially for new fish keepers because a lot of times people look up these fish and they look up the targeted pH, the, the water hardness, the water temperature, the food, etc. These care guides online essentially and what's happening is we as fish keepers are trying to make the best habitat and set up the best fish aquarium possible for our fish. But what's happening here is this is a weird thing in the hobby. People talk about pH and the best thing to do is to just leave your pH alone. Trust me on this. Don't trust all of these care guides. Your pH, the fish are very adaptable to pH. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the live stream tonight where I do live Q&A. This is my life though, honestly. I have a house full of fish tanks. And if you love fish tanks, consider subscribing. Uh, or you can go over to my main channel, Palmer Aquatics. Um, I have a lot of super cool builds over there, like this entertainment center. My fish, my basement is about to be filled with fish tanks. I have kind of a cool little uh, setup going on in here. I just picked up this half inch glass that I'm thinking about doing something really cool with. They can apply a DIY plywood aquarium or maybe a uh, a coffee table aquarium would be super cool for this uh, plain living room. Um, I also just picked up a bunch of uh, TA or LED four foot lights and a security system. And I don't know, guys, this this house is going to be completely devoted to fish tanks. And if that's something you think is cool, Consider giving this video a like or comment below what you think of me. Am I insane? Are fish tanks cool? <sighs> I don't know. Let's get back to the stream, though, because we're getting a little off topic. A lot of people ask, hey, my aquarium pH is too high, or maybe your aquarium pH is too low. And the best thing for you to do is to just leave your pH alone. What you should do is probably take your testing, your water testing kit, and test your pH right out of the faucet just to kind of know from bare bones what you have is is what's going into your tank because some fish do prefer a different ph a range of it you know like african cichlids like harder and harder water and it's uh it's something to know and worth knowing while it's not a huge deal though guys because i'm telling you almost all these fish in this hobby are very adaptable somebody was actually telling me a story the other day that they were in a river in peru or something or on the amazon and they were they brought a, an aquarium testing kit and they tested the water the ph of the water from this spot over here from 15 feet over here and it was a wide range of difference in that river so it's like if there's a huge variety of ph uh, you know it's <clears throat> someone told me the other day if you're looking to blow your mind when it comes to aquarium or water ph in itself go to your local riverway and test your or test the water ph of a spot in the river over here and then test it 30 feet over there. Someone was telling me that they had crazy results and it was drastically different and that just shows you how well the fish are adapting to these swings. You know, like maybe the pH isn't as big of a deal in this hobby as we make it. I don't know, I'm kind of like just deep diving into this because I love this. This is one of those uh, topics in the trade that like is super just kind of weird and a lot of people don't talk about. So. If you're stressing your aquarium pH is too high or too low, please don't stress it. Drop it. Hopefully I helped you figure this out a little better. And if you're looking for certain fish, uh, what, what's, what's actually more harmful for the fish is you putting pH products in your aquarium and having it affect the, you know, the up and downs or what the fish don't want. And ideally the same pH, you know, just as long as they can get used to it, give them a chance to get used to it. I just said that. Um, but yeah, if you're aquarium, leave a comment below, please. Uh, if you're watching this chat later, uh, this is a members only stream. So please, um, leave a comment below. Is your aquarium pH too high? Is it too low? Uh, what are you going to do about it guys? Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. On to the next question. Da, 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 da. All right. 